To have an eclipse come through your area is roughly a once in a hundred year event. To have a total solar eclipse come right over your backyard is more like once in <laughs> 300 or 400 years. So if you point your eyeballs up towards the sun, you risk causing permanent eye injury. Tiffany Fields is the astronomy technician at the Burke Gaffney Observatory at St. Mary's University in Halifax and here with us today. Thanks for coming in. Oh, thanks for having me. How excited are you about Monday? I, I'm really excited. <laughs> um, and I may or may not have been planning for this eclipse for the last two years or so, um, and maybe even longer. I'm really excited to see the eclipse yeah, on Monday. Yeah, I bet you've been planning for it. So 1972, the last one. Absolutely. Um, quite some time before there's another one. These mm -hmm. things are quite rare. Are they more rare in this part of the world? No, so they're not any more rare in this part of the world, but they're just rare everywhere in the world. So the next total solar eclipse after the one on Monday that's coming through this region is in 2079. So it's quite a while for us to wait. Um, total solar eclipses happen somewhere in the world roughly every 18 months, but the path of totality where you can see the eclipse is pretty small, only 100 to 200 kilometers wide. Um, and you can imagine most of the Earth is ocean anyway, so many of those eclipses happen over ocean. To have an eclipse come through your area is roughly a once in a hundred year event. To have a total solar eclipse come right over your backyard is more like once in <laughs> 300 or 400 years. So we're pretty lucky here. Okay, for sure. Um, you talked about the path of totality there. Mm -hmm. Kind of walk people through that. What do you mean by that? So the path of totality is where on, um, through the provinces, through the maritime provinces, New Brunswick, the upper half of Prince Edward Island and some of Newfoundland is where the moon in the sky is going to entirely cover the disk of the sun. So this path of totality, like I mentioned, only about 150 kilometers wide for this eclipse is going to go through the central United States, through southern Quebec and Ontario, up through the maritime provinces where we will be able to see it here. And indeed, this path is just where the shadow of the moon is going to cross the ground, block out the sun for a few minutes, depending on where you are. And so uh, there are better places to be than others, obviously. Absolutely. If you're here, I mean, some people would be driving into Brunswick, weren't they? From If you're in Nova Scotia and you're close by that border, you're going to probably hop in your car, don't you think? I am planning on hopping in my car. <laughs> <laughs> to go up to New Brunswick. Uh, so, of course, we're here in Halifax. Uh, I am planning to go into New Brunswick so I can be in the path of totality on Monday, and I imagine many others are as well. I would think so. Get there early, I guess. Yeah. Um, so, you mentioned Halifax there. What will people in Halifax see? So here in Halifax and in most of Nova Scotia, except for a small bit of Cape Breton Island, we are going to see a partial solar eclipse. So here in Halifax specifically, the moon is going to cover up at most about 94.5% of the sun's disk. Now 94.5% sounds very close to 100, uh, but it's really not, not the same as being in totality. But with the partial eclipse, near the maximum uh, eclipse, which is going to be around 4.30 in the afternoon for us here in Nova Scotia, during maximum eclipse, I'm interested in hearing uh, for those that stay around the area, if we notice the sky gets just a little bit darker, not very much, but just a little bit, maybe the temperature will drop just a little bit uh, as we get towards that maximum eclipse. So here in Nova Scotia and uh, during any of the other phases, the partial phases of the eclipse, anywhere you are in the Maritimes, it's important to observe the eclipse safely. So with something like a pair of eclipse glasses or an indirect method, to view the eclipse. Yeah, the temptation to look at it is is real, isn't it? Yeah. Um, so the, the special glasses, what about cameras, phones, that kind of thing? What, what should people be cautionary, cautionary about? So the sun's really bright, of course. The sun is not comfortable to look at on a normal day. Um, there's a lot of power coming from the sun. If you point your camera up towards the sun, you risk damaging the sensors. If you point your eyeballs up towards the sun, you risk causing permanent eye injury. Um, so with cameras and the like, I recommend using proper solar filters. Say if somebody has a DSLR camera to put a, if they've got one, a special solar filter in front of the lens. If you don't have a special solar filter, don't point your camera up towards the sun. For something like cell phones, the thing that I would do carefully is maybe use a pair of eclipse glasses behind the lens um, of your cell phone to try to take an image if you would like to of the of the partial okay, eclipse. Okay, if you're someone who wears glasses too, yes. what side of the glasses do the, uh, the special glasses go on? The eclipse glasses always go on the outside. The eclipse glasses need to take in the sunlight first before anything else. Because the issue is if you're wearing your usual glasses, maybe your usual glasses focus the light a little bit on those eclipse glasses so if they're inside closer to your eyes, they might damage them a little bit. So we want the eclipse glasses to get the sunlight first, they must be on the outside. And when this eclipse happens, it happens pretty quickly, doesn't it? So the 
whole solar eclipse actually lasts a little bit more than a two than two hours. Uh, here in the Maritimes, it goes about 3:30 p.m. until about 5:45 p.m. Exact times change depending on exactly where you are. But totality, mm -hmm. when the moon is entirely covering up the sun in the sky, that moment that really um, brings out the oohs and the ahs, <laughs> that's a pretty short moment. Uh, depending on where you are in that path of totality, if you're closer to the center, uh, totality will last about three and a half minutes. If you're closer to the edge, it could be more like 30 seconds. So it's pretty quick in the span of the whole eclipse. Promises to be an exciting day for sure. Oh, I'm so excited. Thanks for coming and talking to us about it. Thank you for having me.